Today's message is about real friends, how to be one and how to find one. And for today's message, I asked Jack to help me with our experiment. We are gonna put these balloons underneath of this tray and stand up on it. Ready? All right, honey, you go first. Where'd you learn this? On the internet. Okay. I don't trust it. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. <laughs> Jack on the take two. Okay, honey. Can I have friends' hands? Well, give me friends' shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. Are you heavy? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> but you did it! Okay. <laughs> friends don't let friends stand on balloons. <laughs> Alright, let me try. No, balance on this cookie tray. You learned this where? On the internet. Okay. Okay. Sure, you don't want me to hold you up over it. Don't no. squash my toes. Look at that! I can do it. I can keep my balance, but it's good. To, it's good to have a friend around to help me. Okay, balancing it, on those balloons was pretty tricky, but did you notice that it became entirely possible when Jack and I helped each other? And this is the perfect picture for life. Sometimes it's easy to lose perspective or to get off balance, and we need someone to come along beside us and help. There are thousands of reasons that we need good friends in our lives. I'm gonna name six. One, friends help us stay balanced, telling us what's important so that we don't get overwhelmed. Two, friends give us strength and encouragement. Much like Jack and I kept encouraging each other to try and try again. Three, Friends help you succeed at something that if you tried it by yourself, you would have failed. Just like I couldn't stand on that cookie tray unless Jack was supporting me. And four, friends bring laughter and fun into your life. If you want a little laughter, watch after this message. We have a large blooper reel. Five, friends warn you if you're in danger or if you're about to make a big mistake. And six, friends help you from being lonely or being afraid. Like I said, there are a thousand reasons that we have friends. Having good friends is a really important part of life. So I'm going to ask you question number one. Who do you consider to be some of your bestest friends in the whole wide world? And of those friends, do they encourage you? Do they protect you or stand by you? Do they help you follow Christ's teachings? I pray that each one of you has at least one friend like that. I mean, we all have people in our life who make us laugh and are fun to be around, but I want the kind of bestie for you who's someone who's gonna strengthen you in the Lord, who's gonna encourage you in your faith, a person who's just as committed to God as you are, a friend of good character with morals, who has good sense about him and a lot of wisdom. If none of the friends you named from question one have those qualities, then perhaps it's time to develop a new friendship or two. Now the Bible has a lot to say about friendship, but this morning I just picked out three of my favorite scriptures about friendship. The first two come from Proverbs, which is in the book of the Old Testament. The first is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. Be friends with those who are wise, and you will become wise. Choose fools to be your friends and you will have trouble. Another one comes from Proverbs chapter 22, verses 24 and 25. Don't be friends with people who become angry easily. Don't stay around quick tempered people. If you do, you will learn to be like them and then you will have the same problems they do. And finally, all the way back in the New Testament, in 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 33, gets right to the point. Don't be fooled. 
Bad friends ruin good habits. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Now that brings me to question number two. Are the friends that you named earlier wise, godly friends who support and encourage you? If the answer to that is yes, then yippee! I'm happy you have a friend like that. But if the answer was no or mm, not so sure, then maybe those friends aren't the best influence on you. And maybe you should ask God to lead you to a person who can be a true good friend. It's important to remember that when you start praying to God for a friend, that he may bring someone into your life that you not really expect. So you have to keep your eyes open. And a little bit of advice. If you feel yourself needing good friends in your life, then you need to remember to be a good friend. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for the gift of friendship. Lead us this week to a friend who will help us to build our faith with you and also grant us the strength to be a friend who supports and encourages others. Bless each child and each marriage and each household who hears this message this morning. We ask all of this in your son's most precious and holy name. Amen. See you next week. The internet guarantees me no more. Thank you. Amen. <laughs>